What's up? I'm Tattoo JT, and I'd like to thank you for checking out my video. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. If you're a new viewer, go ahead and take a minute and click on that subscribe button. I upload new videos all the time, and if you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification, you get notified every time a new one comes up. And you won't blame yourself later for missing any of them. I wanted to make a video about one of the greatest passions in my life. Gambling. I'm a gambling man, baby. Whether it's a card game with your friends or a trip to the casino or scratch off lottery tickets or an occasional mega million lottery ticket. You name it, I love it. If there's money on the line, I'm a gambling man. You know, I like to say I do fairly well. You know, I, I win some, I lose some. I like to say I do fairly well. That's why I keep playing. If you ask my wife, she probably wishes I'd win a little more. And I know it's one of the greatest signs of having a gambling problem. But I keep telling my wife, I feel like I'm going to hit that payday. You know, I feel like the next one's coming. So far, my biggest scores to date are on a penny slot machine. I hit for just over 1700 once a few years ago. And on a scratch-off lottery ticket, I won for $750. So I haven't really hit the big one, and it doesn't stop me from trying. And this video is all about my love for gambling. In this video, I do four different ways of gambling. I take a little trip to the local casino with $50. I spend $50 on, uh, I'm in Michigan, so the MichiganLottery.com online. I spent $50 and I bought $20 worth of scratch off tickets and I bought a $2 mega million ticket for tonight. And in this video, you'll see how much money I made on my $122 investment. So first off, last night I put $50 into the michiganlottery.com and uh, of course I had my camera with me. So here's a little footage of uh, how I did with my $50 investment. All right, here I am logging on to my PayPal to put money into my Michigan Lottery account, making my deposit. Okay. All right, I'll set back up my recording. All right, guys. I was just bleeding myself down dollar by dollar. I lost $30 already. I'm down to $20 left. I'm gonna do four $5 plays. And uh, let's see what I get. Hopefully I win some money. All right, let me start my screen recording again. Okay. I'm gonna go back into the diamond payout. Has the best payout for the dollar for $5 investment, you can win up to 250000 So here I go. Set that $1 for me. I'm going to change it to 5 I got four plays. Here we go. Here's the first one. Nothing. Second. 110 10. All right, guys, I'm done with my last five dollars now. Let's hope for two hundred fifty thousand dollar payoff. Can I call in sick tomorrow? see how fast uh, $50 goes in the lotto. Now, as you can see, I didn't do so hot. Um, I never really got up at all when I was doing $1 at a time. I was just kind of like nickel and dime, or I was just dollaring me out, you know, $30 down. And uh, finally, I swung for the fences with those $5 bets in the end. Uh, Nothing paid off, you know. It was uh, a few close calls. There were a couple of exciting moments, uh, kind of, oh, three more of these and I get, you know. But 
nope, nothing happened. And uh, pretty much ended up blowing $50. Uh, I did have a little bit of fun. It was mildly entertaining, but lasted all about a half an hour. You know, um, definitely could have done something a little better with my uh, $50. But I always say, you can't win it if you ain't in it, baby. If I wasn't trying, I could have never won $200,000 without trying. So I might as well be playing some kind of lotto where I did. Um, but this video is not about one type of gambling that I love. No, 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 no. Today after work, I swung by the local casino. I actually live about 10 miles away from the local casino and it's on my way home from work. So uh, I swung in there with another $50 cash and uh, had my phone with me. Um, I'm a little nervous about f filming in public, so I got me in the parking lot before and I got me in the parking lot after, so uh, I wasn't really sure if I could film in the casino, but that place was so packed I couldn't do it anyways. And by the way, you never realize how many people still smoke cigarettes until you go to a casino. I mean, wow, I mean, everyone else was smoking. I quit smoking just over 12 years ago and uh, I don't miss it at all. And you walk in that place and you're just like, <sighs> but I'm a gambling man, baby. The things I do to win those millions. Anyways, here's some footage from the casino today. See how I did. All right, here I am for part two of the video. I just pulled up to the casino. I got $50 in cash. Let's see how long I can get this $50 or how much money I can win with only starting with $50. <laughs> well, here I am after uh, gambling away $50. It took me about 45 minutes. I was up a little bit, but I walked out with zero. Ended up donating to the casino again. And like you could see, um, I didn't do so hot. It took me about 45 minutes and that 50 was gone. I won a little bit, but not enough. Uh, I always make a promise with myself, if I double up, I'll leave. You know, um, I never got to the point of doubling up. I, right on my very last, I do a quarter slots, um, five at a time. They actually have a poker room there, but it's a waiting list to get in, and I just wanted to, you know, hit my uh, million and it'll walk out, you know what I mean? But uh, I was playing this quarter slot, the Wheel of Fortune, and then you hit the spin, 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 and the minimum you can win is $25. Well, right, my very last dollar twenty-five was the wheel, the wheel, and then it's you can get one spin, two spin, or three spin, and then the three spin was just cockeyed. I would have got a minimum of $75, bam. But uh, woulda, shoulda, coulda, I didn't hit anything. That's $100 of my lottery investment with nothing to show for it. You know, I had a little bit of fun at the casino except for the secondhand smoke. I mean, wow, it is unbelievable how many people still smoke. Maybe they don't all smoke like I used to. I used to smoke a pack a day, like nonstop Marlboro Reds, you know, cowboy killers. But uh, it was just crazy. My last $22 or my last $22 of my $122 I'm investing for this video. Uh, I got a mega million ticket for tonight. And I got two $10 lottery scratchers that uh, I'm gonna scratch right now. And uh, hopefully I got some money on these too. Now just to make it a little easy for myself, I didn't wanna tear down my whole other setup and reset up, so I'm just using my phone on my uh, Gorilla Pod here, and I'm gonna scratch off my two tickets. Um, this is how bad I am with my lotteries. I have my Lucky Coin that I always use to scratch them. I keep it right in my wallet. Uh, it's with me everywhere I go. When I scratch off a ticket, I get them. One of my crazy little superstitions is when I buy a scratch off ticket, I often don't scratch it for a few hours even. I'll buy it after work, say four or five o'clock, and I won't scratch it till eight or nine o'clock at night. Uh, it's just, I don't know, something I'm into. And when I win, I just, I don't cash them in right away. I put them in a drawer. That's my safekeeping. Um, one thing I've learned is there's expiration dates on the back. 
I actually have had to throw away a few winners because I didn't cash them in in time. So I'm a little more conscious of when they expire. When I get them, uh, if it's an older ticket I haven't bought in a while, I'll turn around and make sure I still have a few time. Like this one's good till May 4th, 2020. So you got a little bit of time, but uh, if they sit around for a while, you could get burned. Well, anyways, here's my first ticket. I like to, uh, everyone's got their own little method. I like to scratch the little bubbles first. Um, nothing there. You can win instantly on these ones. Nothing on those little bubbles. Now, if I get these winning numbers and match it to any of the numbers below, I win. Um, you can see my lucky coin puts some damage on some tickets. I can scratch a lot right off the bat. Uh, I'm kind of goofy. I like to just scratch where the numbers are. And if I do match one, I wait till I'm done with a ticket to see what it is. You know, uh, the suspense, I guess, what it is. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Nope, unfortunately I did not win on this one. But see what I mean? I'll scratch, you get the winning numbers here, and then if you match them, and I'll scratch off just the numbers, and right below the numbers is a dollar amount. So if I were to match one, then I would scratch off the dollar one, the dollar amount next, then I'd reveal how much money I had. Um, I don't know, it's just some kind of funny game I like to play. But I scratch off this bottom barcode, and uh, it gets filed away in my loser pile. The hide from wife pile, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just kidding, she'll see this video. So there's not much hiding from her. All right, number one. Hey, I just won 20 bucks. I got the money back from this at least. If you, uh, if you reveal a bankroll right here, you win 20. You can see, I revealed a bankroll. So I at least got my money back. On these. <laughs> and again, this coin can put some damage on a ticket, you know. It doesn't take me very long at all to scratch off a ticket. Because uh, I did match that one, I'll scratch the barcode off right away. And... It does not appear like I won anymore. But like I said, it's already a $20 winner. So hey, that's a positive. So there's at least 20 back from my $122 investment in my lottery fortune. Uh, it's not gonna stop me from playing. You know, it's the thrill of the hunt is what gets me. So I'm gonna keep on gambling. Well, back to my real camera, hold on. Well, like you saw, I won 20 bucks back up my $122 investment on today's lottery. You know, my usual gambling method is a scratch off ticket and I do fairly well. If I don't break even, I win a little bit. If you ask my wife, I probably spend a little too much on lottery, but if you ask me, I don't spend enough, you know what I mean? I haven't hit the big one yet. I evidently, I haven't spent enough. I still have tonight's mega million ticket. Um, here's hoping I win that and I get to call in Rich tomorrow for work. Uh, that's my biggest dream is one morning call in Rich. Maybe one day I'll get to make that call. Uh, maybe tomorrow if I hit this Mega Million ticket. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Thanks super again for checking it out. I showed you four of my favorite ways to gamble. What's your favorite way to gamble? Uh, drop it down in the comments. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Do you got a problem with gambling? Did you end up losing too much? You want to give me a word of advice on why I should stop gambling right now? Throw that down in the comments and I would love to hear. And you might be the voice of reason that talks me out of gambling. And like I was saying in the beginning of the video, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for watching my videos. It means the world to me, every one of you. And if you're a new visitor, and if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. I upload new videos all the time. And if you click the subscribe button and hit the notifications, you'll get updated on every new video that I do, and you won't miss any of them. Until my next video, 
Tattoo JT, signing out.